Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to 2021's 1 to 53rd scale bus fleet update video. Um, so in this video we do have a few new things, um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first bus here, uh, now I should say these numbers aren't actually in order, they're just kind of parked uh, in the way that um, similar models are with similar models. Uh, so the first bus we have here is uh, 21. It's a generic Bluebird 3800. I, yeah, it's got the international uh, branding. So um, American Transportation Services on the side, 9721. On the back we have Stop 21. Um, and it's got the older Dayton style rims on it. Uh, the second bus here is 15. Now 15 does have an ID number. Also has the uh, international badging. Got a black hood as well. Um, now this version of this bus has the plastic doors uh, and it also has the Dayton style rims. I made this bus a lift bus as you can tell. Um, and then back here, stop. Uh, has the ID. Also has the painted on tail lights versus the plastic insert. And then we've got 0315 and then the asset number down there. So 2001-53 which means it's a 2003 and it's numbered 15. American Transportation Service. So moving on, um, this bus and the next uh, three buses are all new since last bus update. This is uh, 2016. It's a uh, 2020 Safety Lantern HDX. Um, you can see American Transportation Service. Uh, all these are pretty much numbered and lettered the same way. I think, yeah, so one thing I do want to point out here is I gave them all uh, two numbers on the uh, driver's side, which I normally don't do that, but I thought I would. Uh, so there's the back, and then the uh, passenger side just says American Transportation Service. And then we have our number next to the door and our number above the doorway. Uh, so here is 17. It's pretty much the same exact thing, uh, numbering and lettering-wise. Um, and here's the back of the bus. So 18 is a little bit different. It does have something that 16 and 17 don't have. Um, but before we get to that, I will point out, you'll notice I put the year dash number on the front of the bus, which normally on my HDXs and HDs and whatever else, I put the number on the front like that, um, and the year dash number is on the side. Um, so, yeah, like I said, pretty much the same on the sides uh, and in the back, uh, like the other models. Uh, now, this I do have here is uh, need a bus, call us today, and then American Transportation Service. Um, there was a phone number on there, but I covered it up. And then here's 18, 18, and then again, uh, they all have uh, rooftop numbers as all of my 153rd scale fleet uh, buses do. Uh, the next bus here is uh, 23, which I've had for quite a while. You guys all know it. It's uh, 1323. So, just another HDX stop. Next bus is 24, which is a HD model. Um, modeled after a 2001. You can see it's the yellow roof, American Transportation Service, stop state law, American Transportation Service, 24. It doesn't have 24 above the... Uh, doorway, and then there's the roof number. Now the next model is uh, 25. It's another HD. This one is the white roof and yellow wheels version. American Transportation Service 0125. There's the uh, rooftop number there. And then on the back we got Stop State Law. American Transportation Service 25. Next model is uh, 34. Now 34 is a new addition. Now what 34 is, is 34 is the first release of the HDX model. You can see on the bottom that it actually says uh, Safety Liner HDX. However, it has the older rear end um, 
and the Thomas Built Buses logo there, you can see it's got the older style rear end that I was talking about and the older style uh, tail lights, like what the ER models would have had. There's the rooftop number. So I think I have this one modeled as a uh, 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So this one's modeled as a 2008. Got 34 above the doorway. American Transportation Service. So like I said, that one's a new addition. Uh, the next bus is 14. Now 14 looks a little bit different. I went ahead and tried something out. I painted the wheels black and then I gave it a white roof. Um, now I know what you're going to say. That's not a Thomas white roof. Yeah, I know most of the time Thomas white roofs are rounded off like on the HDXs. Um, but in this case I wanted to try it out so I just taped it off like a normal roof. Um, like on an IC or a Bluebird. So, you know, it's fine for me. I like it. I like the way it came out. Uh, and then the next bus is 35. Now 35 is a new addition and let me tell you, let me point out some things on 35. So you'll notice this is a real toy. The roof hatches are not painted silver like on 121 here and 14 would have had it too before I painted it white. And then on the inside, I don't know if you can really tell, but the seats, the seating area is uh, black whereas on 121 and 14 it's kind of a dark gray so my guess is this was the first release of the real toy um, FS 65 uh, but I don't know and then uh, American Transportation Service I think that's um, yeah 0635 and then uh, yeah next bus we got is 121 you guys have seen this one before it's my real toy FS 65 with uh, dual stop arms and uh, black grill. I'm not going to really spend too much time on it since you guys have seen it. Uh, next bus is 122. So 122, 123, and 124 are all generic Bluebird 3800s. Uh, they all pretty much look the same except for 124 has a white roof. Um, but you can see American Transportation Service. And then we got Stop, 122, American Transportation Service. And then uh, got the asset number in the bottom corner there. And then our uh, rooftop number. Uh, 123, same basic numbering and lettering as 122. You can see. And then 124. Um, also, none of these have the international licensing. These are just blank ones. 124 has a wheelchair lift. Um, I know that's a real crude wheelchair lift, but eh, it is what it is. I was trying something out, so I stuck with it. Um, white roof, 124. This is white spray paint that I did, just like on 14. There's the back of the bus, got the wheelchair logo. Um, and then the other side. Next bus is another new addition. This is a 520, or R-520, since it's a Renegade Transit bus. There's the uh, rooftop number there. Um, this one does not have international licensing. The bumper is actually broken right here, but I glued it back on. Um, it came to me like that. And uh, it's actually broken off once since I fixed it, so I don't really do much with it, so that way the bumper doesn't keep falling off. Um, there's the driver's side, 520, Renegade Transit. There's the back, just says stop. Now the next one, I haven't done anything with it because it's my only uh, version, uh, but it's just a basic 9853 with the white roof, so uh, yeah. Now moving on, we have some of the models that are more just for um, looks, I guess. Uh, I haven't really numbered them. So this model right here, uh, I think in past updates I did have it numbered as uh, 44. Um, so that's just the basic S-Series uh, promotional model. Um, you guys have seen it before. The next one is the uh, 3000 Series promotional model. Again, you guys have seen this one before because I've had it for you know a little bit. Uh, now the next one is another S-Series model. I don't think I had it last year. Um, I could be wrong on that, but this is one that I did buy um, at some point during 2020. I don't remember when exactly. Uh, this one actually has its mirrors. They're not on it, obviously, but they are in the box. 
Next model we got there is the 4000 series box truck. Um, I've had that one for a few updates now. So, you know, white box truck, same front end as the 3000 series promo bus. Then we have the uh, Dinky Wayne, which I've had that one for a few updates now as well. Um, same old, same old bus. The next one is the Yellow Roof Thomas ER. Now this one I don't have labeled or anything like that just to uh, leave it original. Um, and then another thing with this one is I have, it has uh, the Thomas Bell Buses logo on the passenger side but not on the driver's side, as you can see. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, next bus is the uh, Ertl Bluebird 3800. This one is numbered 68, and it does say School Bus Heritage on it. Um, and then stop. But yeah, that one's pretty much the same. I've had it for a while as well. Next bus is 19, so 19 is a Siku. It's got the opening hood. Um, I've had it for a few bus updates, I do believe. So you guys have seen it before. There's the back, driver's side. Uh, next bus is 20, or 20-20, because 20 it's a 2020C2. The last 1 to 53rd scale fleet update would have been the first video for this bus, so it looks pretty much the same. A lot of the C2s are numbered and lettered the exact same way, so I won't really give too much detail. Here's 22, which is the C2 I got with 23 way back when in 2013. Uh, it's got a number on the bumper, um, so that kind of sets it out from the other buses that I do have. It also says battery there, 1322. I also did black around the warning lights just as a test, see how I liked it. Uh, American Transportation Service, 22, also has a black hood. Uh, next bus is uh, 27. Now you will notice here I did actually sell two of the C2s. Um, that I had within this really large lot that I bought last year. So 2026 and 2028 I did sell. So now it just goes from uh, 22 to 27 with the C2s. But uh, 27 is pretty much exactly like 2020 um, number wise and everything. So there's nothing too specific on it. Uh, 29 is different. So for the longest time I had 0229, which was a Siku. Uh, but last year I went ahead and replaced it with um, 2129. You can see I tried something where I put RT number kind of like a route changer. Um, I don't know, so I just kind of left it there because I kind of like the way it looked. Uh, but this is modeled as a 2021 C2 uh, that replaced 0229. Um, you can see the number there, and there's the rooftop number. Next bus is 30, so that's 1430, so it's a 2014 model year CE. Um, nothing much has really changed with it. Still says American Transportation Service on the side, 30. I think I added asset numbers to the battery doors of most of the CEs, and then took off their um, model year dash number numbering, um, just to be a little different, I don't know. Then there's American Transportation Service, 30, and then this has 30 on the hood, um, right there. Next bus is uh, 31, which I've had that for ages. Uh, 1031 would be the model year designation on that, which actually would be incorrect for this particular model because the roof logos on it are for a 2012 or 2013 IC, um, but I numbered this bus like I don't even know, five, six, maybe seven years ago. So I don't really feel like changing it, so it's just gonna stay a 2010. Um, but it pretty much looks the same. Uh, the only thing is, is my one of my ambers is kind of almost completely gone on there. It has a custom chrome-ish grill. Uh, 31, American Transportation Service. Um, this bus was actually numbered 525 when I first got it. Next bus is 32, which is another CE. Uh, looks pretty much the same as the others with their numbering. You can see where I put in the asset number down there, American Transportation Service. Stop, American Transportation Service, 32. Um, nothing too different, got the uh, rooftop number up there. Next bus is 33, it's a C2, um, a 2018 
modeled C2. This one I've had since uh, late 2017. Um, hasn't really changed at all. American Transportation Service. Stop. 33. Um, and I put the asset number kind of right there. You can see it's 100. 338. Uh, this bus is the only bus out of the, I think, five buses I bought with it um, that I still have. The other four I've sold. Uh, the next bus is 37, so 37 is new. It's a ICBE. Now, originally when I first got this bus, it had taken me quite a while to number it because um, I didn't know what I wanted to number it. Uh, I actually did a review on this. Um, at some point last year after I had gotten it. So ATS, that's about all you could fit in on the BE. And then stop, 37, got the wheelchair insignia back there. Now this BE is actually a bank. Um, I'll card in the review for you guys. And then there's the rooftop number. And then here's the side. You can see 37, asset number, ATS. Now the next bus is 50, and you guys can see that it did have a little bit of an accident. Um, I'm not sure how or when it exactly happened, um, because I had a few models kind of set up uh, in my room, and at one point I was looking at it and I noticed that it was missing a mirror, uh, so I'm not really sure how or when it happened. I do have the mirror. Um, I might be able to super glue it, that's why I've still, you know, left the other mirror on and kept this mirror, um, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So, 50, still the same bus, American Transportation Service, got 50 on the roof there. Um, stop, 50, and then on the other side it also says 50 in American Transportation Service. I have this one modeled as a 2007, as you can see from the asset number there. And the next bus is 65. It also has a bumper number, just like 22. Uh, and this one has a custom added uh, cross arm, which is kind of kind of cool. Uh, it's also got the black hood, uh, no mirrors on it because the mirrors have broken off over the years. Um, has a little bit of different lettering because it came to me uh, custom lettered, uh, at least with the numbers there. Um, and then I did American Transportation Service. For a while, I had had School Bus Heritage on this. When I first got it, it was numbered as, uh, or lettered under Lebanon City Schools. And then there's 65 on the roof. And then there's the back. Now, when I had actually gotten this bus, I had wanted it to be numbered um, 95. But I think the um, seller I got it from either misread or misunderstood my message. Um, because at the time we had just gotten 95 and I wanted it to be modeled like 95. Uh, next bus is 90. It's my other ICBE, which you guys have all seen it. It's got that Texas style school bus lettering on the sides. There's stop, 90. And the other side, 0690 is the model year on this one. The next bus is uh, 191. So 191 is modeled after a 2019 C2. You've, you've got Q07821. I've got Warren Co. 191 ATA Inc. Stop. 191 ATA Inc. Warren Co. There's the asset number. It's literally 101919. So this C2, I decided to be a little bit different, as you can tell. It's not like the other, it's not like the 2020s. It's got a black hood and is a 2019 and has uh, Warren County on it and stuff like that. There's rooftop number. Now, the next few buses are all buses that are modeled after uh, Lebanon City buses. So this is the old bus, too. It's a bus that Adam uh, made up for me as a joke, because if you don't know, I tried to buy bus, too. And... Um, Basically, public surplus glitched at the last second, and both Adam and Cameron were there, so that was fun. Uh, but you can see it's got an old inspection sticker on it, route changer, no weapon sticker, Lebanon City Schools. And then on the back, stop, two, it's got the ID, Lebanon City Schools, um, and all that fun stuff. Now, the next bus is 36. 36 is modeled after the bus I rode in high school. Uh, the 97 Bluebird 3800 um, looks pretty much the same. Board owned on there. Lebanon City Schools. 
then on the back you can see it does say stop state law uh, on the other side there's nothing too special other than 36 and Lebanon City Schools now 41 is the other Bluebird 3800 that we used to have because we just sold it uh, back in December um, that I rode uh, so it's pretty much like 36 it says board owned Lebanon City Schools the back of the bus says stop state law um, next bus is 97 which is modeled after the 2015 CE that I rode when I was in high school uh, Lebanon City Schools 97 has stop on the back um, all that fun stuff now the next group of buses are all buses that are out of service so this is 32 the original 32 um, that has definitely seen better days when I had first gotten it it I think it was numbered like 304 or some crazy number like that um, I'll have to link the video when I first got it in um, but anyways uh, it's definitely seen better days and I had eventually tried to model it after Lebanon's bus 32 um, but as you can see it's it's uh, yeah so here's 0229 that's the bus that 2129 would have replaced um, there's the back, missing the rear door, all that kind of fun stuff. Got the asset number on there. I still have the hood and the rear door. They're just in the box uh, that the bus came with. Here's um, just a made-up bus. This is 248. It's just a out-of-service bus. Nothing too special on it. Um, missing the stop sign. There's the asset number on there. It's the number. There's the back. Uh, the next one is just a generic bus that Adam gave me years ago, and I decided to make it an out-of-service bus. And then finally, we've got 524, which is um, just another out-of-service bus of mine that's got ITS on it. And then there's 524 and an out-of-service sticker and stop. So the last part to add on to this are uh, these buses. So I did buy another big set like I bought. Um, at the beginning, well, I bought this last year too, but I had bought uh, this one here. Um, so it's just the older 9852s. Then underneath it's the uh, three 9853s that I um, haven't touched. Like, they, they're still original. Um, so I wanted to include those in the video since they are technically of that scale um, and I thought you guys would like to see it because I don't think I ever did a video on this pack when I got it. So that's pretty much it for this year's 1 to 53rd scale um, bus fleet update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Um, I think this is like my third year in a row doing it. Um, I had done previous ones like years ago uh, but ever since 2018, I've pretty much done one every year um, because the 2018 1 to 53rd scale bus fleet update video was very popular. So, yeah. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah.